Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I accomplish this curly look that I have in almost all of my videos. I love this, it's super easy, doesn't really take too long. Bouncy, lightweight curls, I do brush them out as you guys will see. So if you are interested, please go ahead and stay tuned. If, if this is your first time here, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, as well as turn your notification bell on so you never miss a video. Hey guys, so I wanna show you how I accomplish these curls. For the sake of time, I just went ahead and did one side and then we're going to do the other side on camera. So what you are going to need, some sort of paddle brush. I do use the Conair paddle brush. I'm obsessed with their paddle brushes. I think they're really, really good. You're going to need some type of comb as well as a straightener. I have two. This is my good old faithful. I refuse to give her up. Like It's really time because she barely works, but when you have something good, you got to hold on to it. And then I do have my chai lava as well. So this does not have any settings on it, actually. I don't know if you guys can see. You don't need a setting for it. It's all based off of volcanic, um, I think, I don't know, something volcanic. I don't know. I'll go ahead and link it down below. So if you are interested, you can kind of look up on it and understand exactly what it's for. <laughs> but it's really, really good. I love it a lot. It gives my hair a natural shine, which I'm obsessed with. And then you're also going to need... Also going to need some sort of heat protectant, so I go ahead and use the Garnier Fruit Teas Brilliant Shine Glossening Spray. So here it is. And then you're also going to need, I mean you don't need it, but I use it. It's Black History Month, so let me put y'all on anyway. So this is called my Black is Beautiful Ed Slayer. You can get it from Sally's and it is truly amazing i have two of them my sister bought it for me for christmas because i went to her house and i used it when i tell you my edges did not go anywhere they did not go anywhere now this hair well my hair is probably two and a half weeks maybe touching on three weeks i think this week will make three weeks dirty so it's time it's oily it's just barely hanging on for its dear life so before we get started, I'm going to show you how, since one side's already done, I'm going to show you how I go ahead and slip down my edges and how I make it kind of look cute. So you are just going to take a little bit. I just use like this much, that much, and I am just going to start. I'm going to pull my hair back a little bit, and I'm just going to start here. And you just apply it right to your edges, just like that. And then you just going to use some sort of brush. So this is my daughter's brush, soft brush, and I just brush it literally right back. And then I'm just going to bring some of these essential, these edges, excuse me, down. Literally, I'm brushing skin, as you see. But it's not, like, this essential is truly amazing. Like, when I tell you, it's amazing. So, there you have it. Something cute. I'm going to swoop it off, fix it later, but this is just something simple, to the point. Whatever. So, let's get into it. We're going to do a little bit of a story time. This is my first time, so bear with me if it's not good. I apologize. So now that this is done, so one side is done, I just literally tie it right at the at the top so it doesn't mess any of the curls up. I haven't used any hairspray or anything like that. I will at the end. So what you're going to do after you part your hair, just brush your hair straight, straight down. So this is the simplest way. I can get all this out probably in 15 minutes. Let's see. So you're going to take your hair. And this is also the side I always struggle with. So if it looks like I'm struggling, it's because I am. I genuinely am. I can do this side no problem, which is why I did it first. This side I always struggle with for some reason because it's just not the side I'm used to, like, used to doing. It's very awkward for me. So you are going to take your hair and you're going to curl away from your face. So you're going to turn, 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 continue to turn. And then I also just go like this towards the end so it gets the ends too. You're going to come up. And then you just bring it back down. Just a little something. And then, I'm like, you see, my good old faithful is not holding out very well right now. And then you're gonna do the same thing. So, you hold it, and you turn. And these, this is just how I like to do it. If you like to hold your hair a little bit longer, then you can definitely go ahead and do so. But I like them loose curls, and they j it's just my hair type my hair texture and they just last a little I'm gonna do this one again they just last a little bit longer typically they last long regardless how I do it so here we are okay so story time on how I crashed my husband's car his first car in college I feel like this is a good one because everybody knows the story for the most part except y'all know how I crashed his car in college so 
at the time I was working at Chipotle because my husband was actually I don't think I can disclose where he was but I knew where his whereabouts were but he was doing something that was very important to him at the time and he was not at Lincoln he was away I think he was in New York or something so at the time I was working at Chipotle I was on my way to work I had to make a living for us okay because it was expensive back then anything in college obviously that requires money is expensive because you don't have the money so prior to me getting an accident him and his brothers actually got in an accident in the car regardless of what they like to say they love to lie and they love to say that that had nothing to do with me flipping his car but it had everything to do with it when I tell you it had everything to do with it had everything to do with it so they supposedly were ran off the road that night and so the next day we had to go get a new battery so we went to the um the gas station which had a mechanic shop attached to it and we got james a new battery for his car so james went about he had to go to new york so he went to new york and or was it connecticut whatever he was in the tri area somewhere so he was going I was still going to work so I'm on my way to work and the power steering gets a little funky and I'm trying to the, it keeps locking like steering wheel kept locking on me and I'm just like all right what is going on because I get to work and I just got Wendy's literally just got Wendy's and if you know me you know I love food and I do not waste my food so I'm still irritated about it because that was a good meal about to happen so I'm on my way to work listening to some good music, just vibing. You know how you do just in the car relaxing, you're just like, whoa, this is a good song, yes. So that was me. And all of a sudden, the steering wheel so mind you, I'm going like 50 miles an hour and then I see the power just like go off in the car and I'm like, what the what in the world? And I'm not mechanical friendly. So I'm trying to figure out what is happening. And as you see, I am curling away from my face. So each side, you're curling the opposite way. So if my face, if I, my hair is this way, I am curling this way. Face this way, I am curling away from my face. Because that's how you want the curls to be that way. Flipped this way. So I am like, what is happening with this car? What in the world? So the power is going off and it comes back on and it's going off. And I'm in the fastest lane at this point. Like I said, I was going like 50 miles an hour. So I'm like moving the steering wheel. And to this day, I don't necessarily know how the car actually flipped. But when I tell y'all, that car literally went across three lanes. I was in the furthest lane on the left. And I ended up all the way on the other side or on a hill. I was driving, driving, driving. Like I said, power went out. I'm like, what in the world? Driving, driving, driving. Next thing you know, the car's like, doom, 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 doom. And I'm just like, oh, I'm like, oh. Screaming, it was just slow motion because I literally remember just flipping. My hands are going off slow, and I'm just thinking in my head, I'm about to die, and I did not even get to eat my Wendy's. I was so upset because I'm like, bruh, this is about to, is this how I'm about to die at Lincoln? Like, on my way to Chipotle, there's just so much more life to live than dying on my way to Chipotle. Come on now. So, car flips. And like I said, James was gone. His he didn't even know it. His mother was in the hospital. Adam flipped his car. This car had nothing to do with me. His parents told him specifically, you do not let anybody drive your car. You know your parents when they tell you that. You just don't listen. Listen to your parents. They're saying that for a reason. They are saying that for a reason. Like, why don't we listen? So he didn't listen, always let me drive his car. Like wherever we needed to go we were just using his car because at Lincoln there is no public transportation like you had to know somebody or you were not going anywhere um so stupid car flips so I called his dad I'm just like oh my god the car it's I crashed he's like his dad's like it's okay it's all right it's just a car I turned around and looked at that car and I'm thinking he don't see what I see there ain't no way he he saying it's just a car. He don't know that this car ain't not a car no more. This car is gone. It is gone with the wind. This car is not a car anymore. So if also if you guys curl and then you see that the ends are a little straight, feel free to just curl the ends as well. So whatever way the hair is going. So for example, let's do this one. So you see this one's kind of straight. I personally do. <laughs> it looks kind of funny like this. But I personally like when it's kind of straight because it gives, I don't know, I like that look. But for this video, I'm going to show you guys. So here we are, super pin straight. And you're just going to take it the way your hair is going. So you're going to curl it this way, just like this. 
and back down and now it's curled perfectly okay so his dad's like just send me a picture of the car his dad's like just send me a picture of the car it's fine like don't even worry about it everything will be okay and like I said, I'm telling y'all, like, he did not see what I seen. Like, I was looking at the bumper at my ankles. Like, the bumper was at my ankle. And how did I get out of the car? I honestly crawled through the window because the car, y'all will see a picture. I will insert a picture somewhere over here. The car, upside down. I had so much adrenaline running. It was my first real accident. I didn't want to tell anybody, but I had to tell them, like, all right, we got to figure out where this car is about to go because the police arrived at this point. I remember crawling out of the, the front seat where the front window and running in a circle why was I running in a circle I just had to get up and I had to run <laughs> I guess I was trying to run away from the problem but I didn't get far I literally just started running in a circle I'm just like oh my god oh my god oh my god I just crashed this man's car he's nowhere to be found he's like in a whole nother state what am I about to do how am I about to get back to campus literally and going to the hospital was not on my mind like any injuries was not in my mind. All I knew that this car did not belong to me and insurance is expensive. That's what I did know. So, I sent the picture. He called me back. He said, wow. Are you, he was like, are you okay? I'm like, yes, I'm okay. He's like, yeah, that car is totaled. The car is totaled. So, we end up, I end up calling him and he was happy because at this point he was accomplishing what he wanted to accomplish whatever the case may have been at that moment and he was in a good mood and I sent a picture of the car and he was like oh nah you did not just crash my car of course he made sure I was okay um but I think the biggest thing on his mind was yo like my car what are my parents about to say but he didn't know at that point I already called his dad so he tried to like play mailman sir been there done that I went to the point of contact already so whew, after I crashed the car because mind you I was on my way to work my manager's calling me and I'm like hey blank I don't remember her name I just got in a car accident I can't make it because I just got in a car accident so she's like all right cool just let me know I feel like when I tell you this Chipotle was so ghetto like it was just a mess it really was just a mess and she's like all right no worries just let me know tomorrow if you can come in and I'm thinking did you not just hear that I was in a car accident? I literally almost just died. And I sent her a picture of the car. And she is told my son, let me know if you'll be at work tomorrow. So I told her at the time, because I'm the type of person I don't like to upset people. So I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to say anything. I'll just tell her tomorrow. I'm not making it because I'm still not feeling well because of the car accident. And like I said, there was so much adrenaline running, like I didn't feel pain, but when I tell you the next day, I felt like I got hit by a bus, a bus. Like I was in so much pain, I could barely walk, I remember just walking like, <gasps> and at this point, James had sent the picture to, of his car to everybody, I felt like the, all the campus knew, so everybody knew that I got in a car accident. And it was so embarrassing because everyone was just like, bruh. And all his brothers were like, don't let her drive your car. Because nobody asked for your unsolicited advice, sirs, men. They were like, nah, you can't let her drive your car anymore, blah, blah, blah. Men love to give unsolicited advice. Number one, nobody asked you to not let me, like, no one asked you. He didn't need that, okay? He didn't need that. So, let me tell you how Chipotle ended up firing me. Then my manager said I showed I did a no show for two days mind you I texted them and I told them and now that I'm in HR y'all got to do better That's all I'm gonna say y'all need to do better because there is no reason to be fired so I feel like this part is not okay, so let me so now that the curls are done You see nice loose cute curls I am going to go ahead and I'm gonna put etch and draw on here because you see it just looks weird right now so we're gonna do the same thing that I did. So I'm just a little scoop, like I showed y'all before. It's really, really bright. There we go. Just a little scoop. And you're just going to pull your hair back. And you're just gonna come all the way through. Whew, I ended up putting a little bit too much in one spot. And then you're just going to brush it back. Just so your edges are slick, honey. And then I just brush my baby hair. It's the little ones that I think I have left. Yeah, I just brush those, just swoop them a little bit. You could follow up with a toothbrush if y'all want. I personally don't really care that much. Okay. So, here we are. I am just going to touch up 
on these edges just a little bit like right up here just so it looks the right way okay and then the most important part next so you have your curls you see we are super curled here we are if I missed anything comment below and let me know let me know if I missed anything I don't know if I did I don't think so I think we are oh wait y'all wow I missed a whole bunch so this is also obviously playing your hair make sure you didn't miss any pieces I just go like this to see and then you should just fix so I missed this piece so again curl away from your face and then you just Pull it down a little bit, curl, you're going to hold it for a little bit, and then just bring it down, nice cute curl. So I go ahead and, excuse me, this bottle is filthy, got to be glued. This is the hairspray I use as, I don't know, you can use any hairspray, I just personally use this one. I actually bought this because there was a time when I wanted to learn how to do wigs. And I bought this thinking I would figure out how to install my own wig. And when I tell you it was a mess, it was a hot mess. Don't do it. Just go with somebody. Unless you know what you're doing, just don't do it. Don't even waste your time because it was seriously just disgusting the way it ended up coming out. And then I brush my hair out. And I do this the same way every time I brush my hair out. And then anything that just doesn't look like, so example this looks super straight like doesn't it looks like I barely curled it so I just I do go back in and I just will curl it again and then I'll just finger brush it out but like I said it's all based off of you and kind of how you like your curls I personally love loose bouncy curls so same thing come in let it go and then do the same thing here so this is a bigger piece which is why I think it didn't come out that well so my hair at this point already knows what to do. It's already up on a game. Same thing. And then the same thing this way as well. <laughs> I'm always waking up. Okay. Did she move her skull? No, she's still up. Okay. All right, cool. And then you just brush them out. And this is how I accomplish my super cute, bouncy curls. Nice and loose. And then if you feel like you want to add some more hairspray just to hold it, like if I'm going somewhere, I might just put a lot. And then obviously when you finger to tangle it, brush it out, whatever you want to do, you're more than welcome to put more, play with it, do whatever you got to do. My baby's up, y'all. So... Thank you guys so much for watching this video and how I accomplished this curly look. Please stay tuned to more of my videos. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Like this video as well as comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see more hair tutorials. I mean, this is something completely out of my comfort zone, but hey, if you guys like it, I love it. Bye.